A group of Niagara musicians are recreating the music of Genesis once again. The focus this time is on the 1977 album Wind and Wuthering and the live shows that followed it. The source caught up to them at the rehearsal space in St. Catharines. We want to try and capture the sounds and this time around we do have all the sounds. We have the Mellotron sounds, we have the Taurus bass pedal sounds. And so now it's just a matter of putting it all together. We're all fans and we've all been listening to the music. Um, the challenges are many, but knowing your part certainly helps when we come to a rehearsal, we can put it all together, and so far so good. Does it amaze you to think about going back to 1977 when Genesis was on tour with this, the amount of equipment they would have to bring to replicate the sounds? You can do a lot of it now with downloading some things on the computer. We can, but we are actually using uh, a lot of the original gear that they use. Now, we do have sampled Mellotron sounds, but they are official Mellotron sounds. We have the actual bass pedals. They really, they had a lot of gear, but they didn't have a lot of stage gear. Uh, Tony only used four keyboards. And uh, other than Mike and Steve using many guitars, uh, and Phil using some percussion, and Chester using some percussion, there wasn't really a lot of stage gear. So they were really able to produce uh, a very orchestral sound with minimal equipment. Bill, you sang in a classic rock band. Genesis is classic rock, but this is really a lot different than the classic rock than you do. How are you preparing for this show? It's a lot of really sitting down with the lyrics, looking at the meanings, trying to figure out the different time signatures, uh, it's more intricate than the stuff we usually do with my other bands. So it's just a lot of practice and sort of really picking it apart just to understand it. I think it'll be refreshing for people to hear some of it uh, because there's not a lot of it um, and it's a great uh, reason for some of the old fans of Genesis who don't get to see this stuff played live a lot to come out and hear it. That's who this show really is for. It's the third one done by this assembly of musicians and it really does bring out the, the big fans of Genesis, and, and, and they're, they're dying to hear this stuff. They are, and there's more of them than I thought, and I wasn't really into Genesis too much before the last two years, but I've become a really big fan just because of how great the music is, and I'm discovering how many of us there are. <laughs> how did it come about that you were asked to be the lead vocalist on this? I just got an email one day, and Mike Phelan asked, would you sing our show for us this year? And I said, yeah, because I heard about the last couple shows and I heard how great they were, so I jumped on board as soon as I could. Ben, you have a unique opportunity through these concerts, it's the third one that you're doing, to work with your father. What is that like? He was there. He lived this all the first time. We gained a lot of experience uh, through his stories, and uh, it's, he taught me everything I know, so it's an honor to play with him. You're a church organist. You also uh, play the organ at the Ice Dogs games. This is a little bit more intricate than those. You put a lot of hard work into this. Uh, there's a lot of notes. Uh, I, I'm called upon to play maybe 30 minutes at the Ice Dogs game and 30 minutes at church, but this is two hours and a lot of no. For this show, are you playing the Wind and Weathering album all the way through, song by song, or are you focusing more on the tour that followed? This is the tour. A lot of highlights from the album, uh, including one that wasn't performed live, a couple that weren't performed live, uh, as well as all the fan favorites that they continue to play from records past. You have a lot of fans that have come to the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway show, come to the Trick of the Tale show. People tend to really enjoy your reenactment of Genesis. I appreciate that, and, uh, and we thank them for, for feeling that way. We're, we're just, we're trying to um, play the music as closely as we can. Um, we're, we're injecting ourselves into it a certain amount, but we're trying to recreate what a, concert, a Genesis concert might be like for those that didn't see them back in 76 and 77. And these two albums, the first two without Peter, really were uh, significant in that a lot of fans felt that the band was not going to continue without Peter. They, they felt Peter did everything. And they were sadly mistaken when they saw the Trick of the Tail show. They realized the strength of the four musicians that were there. This is a fundraiser. This is a fundraiser for Governor Simcoe Secondary School for the Arts Department there. The band performs two shows, August 24th and 25th, both at Governor Simcoe Secondary School. Tickets can be purchased at the door or in advance through the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre box office or online. Reporting in St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.